Hey, welcome back to It's a Metal Thing. Today I'm building a little shelf for a bathroom for a designer. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is his high definition drawing that he has that he gives me with all the exact specifications. Anyway, so this piece of channel is gonna be this piece here. Um, this is 12 by 12, uh, or 12 inch by 12 foot long, actually it's 12 by 12, by quarter inch um, aluminum flat bar so this is going to be 12 inches by 12 inch uh, shelves i'm going to cut this with a skill saw 12 inch i'm going to cut this piece to this height here 57 and an eighth and my buddy randy down the way is going to mill some quarter inch slots at these measurements here i'll notch the back side of these out a little bit so it interlocks and i'll be able to weld on the back side keep it clean and tidy so i'm going to get started on that All right, so the back is uh, notched. My buddy did it on the mill. Uh, a little looser than I'd like. I guess it was quarter inch. This might be a little under, maybe. I don't know. I don't like this distance here. It's too much from the wall. I'm going to, when I get all these done, I'm gonna notch them out like a quarter inch just to get a better look on there. I'm cutting this, uh, this is quarter by 12 flat bar, obviously. Measure it at 13 and a half because it's 13 and a, it's an inch and a half from this edge to the back side of this. Uh, just a sharp carbide blade from the depot. And it's pretty easy to cut. Give you a the view, make sure it's square, square it up. I got the blanket down so when it falls and it hits on the corner, I'll put a dent in the corner. So that's no bueno. <laughs> Makes for a crisp edge. Cuts pretty easily. Nice edge there, nice and straight, square. Um, yeah, just have a sharp carbide blade. Uh, sometimes the tooth will come off and you'll know it because it won't want to cut and don't try to force it because it will not cut straight. You have to have a sharp blade and they'll go for a long time. But sometimes they'll just go for a couple minutes. Just depends on how lucky you are. So I got uh, four more to cut and do that now. Right after I said that. That's manifestation. Maybe you should wait till the end before you talk about what can go wrong. That's what's gonna happen next time. Okay, got the shelf parts in the mill or milling out uh, just to get this back of this shelf closer to the wall. So that's how we did that. Randy did that for me. All right, all the uh, pieces are cut, uh, notched, they fit together. Uh, now I need to radius these edges. Uh, he doesn't like the crisp edge. I personally like the crisp edge with just to bust it, but he uh, likes a radius edge. I do another table for him, it's called the thin line, and this edge has got a, like a radius to it. So you'll see that. Um, then I'm going to take it and sand it all, smooth it all up. It's easier to sand it now when it's all apart and get a nice even sand on it, it's going to powder coat. Um, all the welds are gonna be on the back side, so when it's finished welding, it's be done, ready to go. So I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna sand it all up, smooth it all up, and then uh, get ready to weld it up. So let's do that. All the aluminum is sanded and rounded. The edges are rounded. Let's see what he likes. This is uh, like another table we do. It's a zigzag. We round the edges like this. Anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna start welding these in. Um, the good thing is when we machine these slots, obviously they're square and straight. So that helps square and straighten these up. I just manipulated the clamp a little bit, top and bottom to get it square. It's tight in there. I'm just gonna run a couple of little beads in here. I'm not gonna get too carried away. So I'm gonna TIG those up and then uh, that'll be, man, it'll be close. I just gotta fill in the top and the bottom and make a mounting bracket for it. But. So I'll show you. All right, welded up, stayed square and straight. Nice, I'm happy with that. Welds are ugly. Um, 
hard to get in there. Quarter inch, blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuses. I just suck at welding aluminum anymore. So in here, I'm gonna flat, make this flat. I should have just made this flat from the beginning, but I didn't. And then I'm gonna drill and kind of sink a hole and then make a bracket so it'll mount on the top of the bottom. So uh, the, the shelf is actually gonna be floating on the wall. And uh, so I'll make a bracket for the bottom, a bracket for the top. Uh, with provisions for a couple holes to add strength to it. And then uh, countersink so you won't see any hardware unless you're on your back or way above it. So that's next. All right, so the weld's kind of okay. Uh, don't look at these. I gotta come back and uh, finish welding this up, grind it smooth. This is the bracket that I made. Uh, I need to trim this back because it's too long. That's what I add. I'll cut that back so this ends up flush down here. I'll come back, I'll grind this uh, smooth and flat. I have uh, some quarter 20 um, countersunk Allen, so it'll be nice and sanitary when you uh, bolt it on. So it's gonna be above your head and below your head, so you'd never see it, but it is what it is. So then I'm going to also drill two holes in this to mount it to the wall. If uh, where they want it lands on a stud, which is probably not very probable. We've got these number 12 uh, inch and three quarter screws. Uh, there'll be four of them on there. If that's not the case and I'm running the sheetrock, which is probably gonna be the situation, I have these mollies, they work good. Uh, you drill it, except for that part. This one's no good now. Um, you drill a half inch hole, stick it in there. It flips open when it's together. You can hold it, you can actually steer it. You can steer it with this thing, right? So then there's a zip tie on here, this little thing. Zips up to the sheet rock, it snaps off and it's super flush. It's all that's sticking out is this little thing here. Like those, they were good. So anyway, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish welding, grinding, get it situated, uh, drill a number seven hole through. That's what you do, you drill the hole first, number seven all the way through. Take it apart. Then you drill the quarter inch hole and countersink that one side. And then you have the number seven hole and they line up perfectly. But of course you need that. So let's do it. All right, ground it all up, smoothed it all up. Uh, found the center here, two inches. Uh, came down three quarters. It's a little bit more than halfway. I don't need to be right up against the wall. So I found the center on this thing. I had to notch out here for the welds for it to sit in there. Um, marked the center, clamped it down to this piece of flat bar that I had. Had to use a screw in there to keep it sitting flat. And I'm just going to uh, put it on here and clamp it down. Probably what I'll do though is I'll start, I'll drill this hole first, number seven, clamp the backside, put this on, and then uh, just start a hole uh, rather than try to drill all the way through. Um, so, and then I'll open this hole up to probably, I don't know, a sixteenth over, maybe five sixteenths uh, on here. Countersink it. The reason I go a little bit bigger is um, the countersink will find the center. So if I countersink this and it goes too deep, then I countersink into this piece here and it's easier to start the bolt. And um, then it'll, when you clamp it down or screw it down, it'll find its happy place. So again, not super precision, just the shelf mount. I wouldn't do that on something that was supposed to be fairly precision. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, it's done. Brackets are built, they're bolted in. They look good. Two bolts in the top, one bolt in the bottom. Uh, you won't see any of the bolts, it's pretty sanitary. I'm going to go out and install it. Uh, go to the, they want me to do it today, so I'm gonna go throw it up. Um, then I'll take it down, leave the brackets up, get it powder coated and it comes back and it'll just be easy to go back together. I don't know if I'm gonna film any of that. I don't know if they, you know, it's kind of weird filming at the people's house. This is the designer, so probably shouldn't do that. But I'll, I'll take a video of it. I'll like pretend like I have to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> I'll shut the door and take a video of it when it's done. So, all right, I'm gonna do that now. I have to do the funky lens because of the uh, tightness of the room. So it's going in here. It's gonna sit right on top of that baseboard. There's about an inch on either side. My only concern is this is it flat. So I don't know how well that bracket's gonna work. We'll try it, give it a try. All right, done, mounted. Pretty sexy. We raised it up. When I first came in, they wanted it right down on the baseboard. I told him I, I could do that, but I have to put a hole in the bottom because I couldn't access that bottom screw. But he started thinking he put that garbage can right there. So 
Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not straight. So this, I need to shim this side. There's this board here, it sticks proud of this board here. And then this four inch span, just that little eighth inch is enough to kick it. So when it comes time, I'll put a shim in the top corner and the bottom corner and uh, get that thing plumb and square on the sides. So off the powder coat. All right, shelf is powder coated and in. I had to shim on the back a little bit because the wood is so rough. Like this piece over here is higher than that piece. But I got it squared in the hole. The color looks good. Yeah, so pretty happy with it overall. So that's it for this one. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe and check my Instagram uh, and it's Mel thing and I'll catch you on the next one.